Hey guys, Estelle's Finest for Insider Tech News again, it's Mike. This new game that I'm really addicted to is called Kingdom Rush. It's actually a pretty great game, it's a tower defense game like all the other towers. But this game is a little bit more simple, but it's actually really hard. I've gone kind of far, not as far as I want, but far enough. Here you can see the game interface is really nice, all the graphics are really good. Um, the characters are split into pretty much only four different characters, um, different towers I mean. And you pretty much have music, um, magic, archery, which is also um, guns, artillery, which also lasers later on, and you have guards. So in this case, I've been this far, and you can upgrade uh, to a few different things. Upgrade your men specifically, that way you can be a little stronger when you're playing. And let's check out one of the games and see how it is. This is how the beginning interface looks like. You see these um, posts right here. These are the only places you can build on. So basically you would click here. You have an option of archery, your guards, your magic, and artillery. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and go with some archery. You upgrade. The money is up here. Your life is 20 health. That means only 20 people or 20 units can get by through your end here. And $800 or 800 coins is your cost to buy certain units. So you have $800 and archery cost me 70 up here just pause some basic uh, controls there and down here you'll see when I start activating things it's like your specials so I'm gonna buy an archery here you click it here to upgrade it's 110 to upgrade so I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade this upgrade that and let me get, go ahead and add another guy right over here another archery over here and I'm gonna upgrade that too so once you after you upgrade you can go ahead and click battle here and you continue continue the battle <laughs> The units come from either side, usually indicated by an icon, either on this side or this side. Hmm. Either on this side or this side. The units arrive, in this case, let's see, if I click here, you can see the range is about there. So there the archery starts shooting at them and they end up dying. The lives are up there. Um, this game you basically have to keep track of because... See, as you can see, the men are moving really fast through it. So you can click here, and you can summon two guys. You put them two guys there, and they start attacking them in there. This level right here, I'm having a big problem. I can't beat it. Um, I'm not sure what the strategy is here, but it's a lot harder than the other levels that I've played. But besides that, it's a great game. I really enjoy it. Um, you have some other choices, say, like artillery. I'm going to just go ahead and put an artillery right here. And you see artillery guy is shooting right there. Boom. Uh, one guy almost got out, but he didn't, and I'm going to go ahead and build there again. And this timer right here shows that the next wave of guys are going to show up. So, basically, I have to keep up with the game because it continuously moves, and the guys keep continually coming, and I just have to keep killing them. So, uh, it's a great game. It's on the App Store. You just go ahead and look for it. It's really great. This is a great game. I do recommend it for those who like Tower D games. It's an awesome game. I really enjoy it. Um, go buy it on the App Store. It's one of the number one, two, or three, never top ten spots for sure. Uh, it's a great game. But uh, make sure you guys rate, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe button up there. If you guys have any questions, comment down there. And make sure you like down there. That way I can make more videos for you guys. If you guys have any questions at all, I am more than happy to answer them. And make sure you subscribe. That way you get new channels, uh, new videos on my channels. And thanks for watching. See you next time.